A boat from the Spanish Guardia Civil leaves Dakar. The ship is monitoring the Senegalese coast on the lookout for fishing boats. Known as pirogues, these boats can fit up to 50 people. They used to be favored vessels for migrants trying to reach the Canary Islands. The Guardia Civil finds one five miles off the coast of Dakar. Spanish and Senegalese police question the fishing boat's crew. Then they maneuver for a closer look. We get right up alongside to see if they've stashed extra food or water. Also, if there's a spare engine or a lot of fuel on board. That would mean that they aren't here to fish, but that they are heading towards the Canary Islands. The Spanish are working directly with the Senegalese government to curb the number of undocumented migrants fleeing to the Canary Islands. The deployment of the Spanish Coast Guard has proven effective. Back in 2006, an estimated 30,000 migrants reached the Canaries. That number has now been slashed to zero. Still, problems remain. Marta Diop was one of the last Senegalese to reach the Canary Islands by boat, completing a hazardous 900-kilometer sea voyage to Tenerife. He was deported 10 months later, but says he would try it again. Just like many thousands of Senegalese, he's hoping to resettle in Europe or South America. I can barely provide for my family with the job I have here. If I see an opportunity, then I'll return to Europe. I will not stay here under these conditions. I want to leave. Since the Canary Islands are off-limits, many migrants now head to Libya and then across the Mediterranean. Senegalese rapper Gunman Zuman uses his songs and TV program to warn people about the dangers of crossing the Mediterranean. His message is directed to young people, but he's also hoping to convince politicians to take action too, both at home and abroad. There must be investment in education. European countries will have to take action if they want to solve the migration problem. It's not a solution for this generation, but for the next. Europe has to do something, otherwise people will continue to emigrate. Gunman Zuman wraps his message home. He's not alone in his fight, but so far, he's yet to see anything improve in his country. Mata also hopes that things will change in Senegal, so that his children will have opportunities that were unavailable to him.